Blade movie review. Vampires are among us, although we usually don't notice them. Blade is a sort of half vampire, half human, and he is the best bet we have of not becoming just slaves, fodder for the vampires. And something's happening in the vampire world. An ancient religion of theirs is becoming relevant again. And Blade's our best chance of surviving it. The movie is quite action-packed and with both martial arts and shootouts and it tends to be really awesomely done with great choreography and a badass Wesley Snipes pulling it off beautifully. You can really tell that this guy actually knows how to do this stuff. Any movie like this is of course going to have to do two things about the whole creature that it revolves around. It's going to have to deal with the mythology, you know, the strengths and the weaknesses, which this does quite nicely. And even though when you find out about the strengths and weaknesses, it's sometimes done through pretty exposition-heavy scenes, it's reasonably smoothly delivered by way of having a character that's as ignorant of this world as the audience is going into it. The other thing is to decide how to play the vampires. Are they going to be, you know, evil and menacing? Are they going to be, you know, fun? And they do some of both, really. There's clearly the sensual nature of the vampire, the vampire being able to experience things in greater detail and to more extreme degree than us, as well as them being, you know, animals that feed off our blood, you know, that need it to survive. The soundtrack is fantastic. I usually don't say that about techno, but here it just, it's really good music and it works beautifully in the film. The film is also quite nicely filmed and edited, with a very nice fast pace. The acting is pretty good, no real just outstanding performances, but no one does poorly either. Blade himself has a lot of self-hatred as he used to be a vampire, and Snipes pulls this off nicely. The main bad guy, the vampire bad guy, is played by Steven Dorff, who does a pretty good job of being this creepy, conniving kind of vampire. And he has a right-hand man who's very fun-loving. And th th this, again, mixed with some menace. And, you know, there's also a female vampire, Arlie, played by Arlie Jover, who just clearly loves every second of being a vampire, and it's a really enjoyable performance. All in all, just a good, fun, really bloody action horror film. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.